Welcome guys in our second video presentation, the part 2 of uh, adding vectors, okay? And basically, kung may nakapanood na ng part 2 of uh, adding vectors, okay? Uh, I-co-continue lang natin. Uh, pinalitan ko yun, no? Dahil parang meron tayong kulang na content na nangyari doon na sinap kong mabuti. On the part of, kung sino man nakapanood ng, ng na-upload ko na, no? Uh, on the part of determining the direction of uh, of uh, the result of vector of the problem number three, makikita natin doon that uh, the reference must be, the reference direction must be west of north, hindi siya north of west, okay? Kapag kinukuha natin ang north of west, 90 degrees minus that theta prime. Ang, ang nangyari kasi, parang, parang yung theta prime ang ginawa natin final answer. But the final answer must be 90 degrees minus theta prime. Okay? Anyway, uh, let us uh, change that no, in our presentation today. And also, I will be also uh, discussing about the fourth problem. Okay? Or the problem number four. Okay? So let's start now. So I'll be sharing this screen. So we'll be using the whiteboard. Okay? In this case, and let us read again uh, the problem number three. Okay, as you can see, problem number three. Displacement vector A is 4.5 kilometer north or north northward. Okay, displacement vector B is 3 kilometers, 50 degrees north of west. Find their results of vector. That's the question, right, guys? Okay, so in this case, let us solve the problem. Okay, so let's write first. The given, okay. Putan natin ng black. What are the given? Okay. Number one, we have a displacement. We have displacement A, 4.5 kilometers. Okay. Okay. A displacement A, B sub A, is equivalent to 4.5 kilometers northward. Okay, kilometers northward. This is north. N na lang, no? Northward. Uh, huwag natin isipin ano yun, no? Uh, newtons, okay? We are talking about displacement, okay? Pag sinabing displacement, that is, uh, that is the, the shortcut uh, form of uh, the distance traveled of a specific particle or body, Okay? In other words, mathematically speaking, that is the difference between the final position and the initial position. Okay. So this sub B is equivalent to 3 kilometers, 3.0 kilometers. Okay. 50 degrees north of west. Of west. Okay. Yeah. Now, in this case, we need to determine its resultant vector where in this sub A plus this sub B okay. is the resultant vector. Okay. To determine that resultant vector, the first step is to form a body diagram okay, or, di or, or graph of the following uh, given this sub A, this sub B. Okay. Uh, so 4.5 kilometers northward, gawin natin kulay blue yon. So this is the 4.5 kilometers, okay, suppose that that is the 4.5 kilometers northward. Lagay lang natin dito, no? Okay. And then, by continuation, okay, ko continue natin uh, the tail, uh, uh, the head, I mean, the head of uh, the arrow, of 4.5 kilometers northward, itutuloy natin, okay, na ng D sub B. Okay, the D sub B is 3 kilometers, 50 degrees north of west. So by analysis, okay, from the head of uh, the arrow, from the head of the arrow na 4.5 kilometers, D sub A, ito yun, this is D sub A, okay, okay, Meron tayong eastward direction at meron tayong north, sorry, westward direction, okay? 
So ang reference natin, tandaan natin kapag nakakita tayong north of west, ibig sabihin papunta siya north na reference natin ay west. Ang, ang magiging reference ng angle 50 degrees, this one, this 50 degrees, okay, is the westward direction. Okay? So ang mangyayari, kailangan natin makabuo ng 50 degrees na papuntang north na reference kay west. Okay? So para siyang magiging ganito. Okay? Sorry for that. Okay? Para siyang magiging ganyan. Suppose this is 50 degrees. Okay, 50 degrees. 3 kilometers. 50 degrees. Okay. North of west. This is 50 degrees. 50 degrees. Okay. Now to determine the result of that. Truburing ko lang to. Alam na natin that uh, this is the... That is... This is the westward direction, okay? Nang reference natin in in case of this of B is the westward direction, okay? Now let us determine the results of vector from the tail of this of A, from the tail of this of A to the head of this of B. Lagay ko lang to, no? Okay? Para hindi tayo malito, gawin kung ano yon, kulay blue. Okay, so this is D sub A. So this is D sub A. And then we have D sub B. Okay. Para hindi tayo malito. Okay. Now to better mean the result of vector from uh, the, the tail of D sub A to the head of D sub B, that will be the result of vector. Okay, so from here to there, that will be the result of vector in that case. Okay, so that this is this is a B sub R, the result of vector. Okay, ano yun lang natin no? Ilaki ilaki lang natin ng konte. Okay, pa ano yun? Ay, yeah, para siyang ganyan, no? So, parang ito ang V sub R. This is the V sub R, okay? Now, uh, as you can see, there is no such uh, 90 degrees angle being formed. Rather, there is an oblique triangle that is being formed in this situation because uh, uh, there's no equal measure in terms of its length, okay? And then, uh, at the same time, there is no there is no such thing na makikita natin. Okay. Alisin na natin itong 50 degrees. Okay. Alam natin that uh, that is 50 degrees. Okay. Nagay lang natin dito. That this is 50 degrees in reference to sorry for that. In reference to the westward direction. Yeah. Okay. Since that is 50 degrees and then we have an oblique triangle being formed. Back at oblique triangle because there is no exact measures in terms of its side. Look at the side that is will be informed in this situation uh, of uh, the triangle. This G sub A. Okay. Makita natin that this is 4.5 equivalent to uh, equivalent to 4.5 kilometers. This is 4.5. That is equal, okay, 4.5 kilometers km. And then we have this sub B. This is 3 kilometers, 3.0 kilometers. And we want to determine what is the value of B sub R in its, uh, in its uh, magnitude and direction reference to the westward direction, okay? Because we are talking about the horizon, kamukha na sinabi ko sa ating previous presentation, sa so part 1, okay, na addition of vectors. So in this situation, this is, uh, okay, this is the direction that we need to determine, okay. In order for us to determine that, 
since this is 90 degrees as you as you can see this is 90 degrees this is northward from from initial position from initial point papunta sa north and then papunta sa west papunta sa east this is 90 degrees okay ito yon 90 degrees yon okay okay let us use spotlight okay ito 90 degrees yan okay kayo na kailangan nating makuha ang angle na to okay ang angle na ito and in order for us to determine that, we need first to, to identify, okay, to identify the theta prime here. Okay. Sa loob na mismong triangle, okay, hindi naman kasi natin makuha yun, napaka-imposible ng para makuha yung theta, theta na yun, no? Napaka-imposible because, uh, because there's no triangles being formed outside, no? Kung makukuha natin ang triangle, uh, sorry, ang, ang angle na ito, at alam natin that this is 90 degrees. So 90 degrees minus theta prime, that is theta. Okay? So since this is an oblique triangle, okay, oblique triangle, okay, this is oblique triangle, sorry for that, okay, oblique triangle, okay, triangle, then we can solve, okay, we can use either sine laws or cosine laws, okay. Since we identify that D sub A is 4.5 kilometers, D sub B is 3.0 kilometers, B sub R is unknown, we want to determine unknown, let us, uh, let us, uh, okay, give uh, letters or symbol from the following vertex of the triangle being formed, okay. So suppose this is A, okay, this is B. This is B, this is C, angle C, okay? So we, we, we created a triangle ABC, oblique triangle ABC, okay? Now, B sub R is equivalent also to side B because the opposite uh, side of the angle B is the side B, okay? Now A, as you can see, angle A, okay? B sub B is equivalent to side A. Okay? Itong, itong side na ito, equivalent ng side A because the opposite side of the angle A is side A. Same thing here, D sub A is equivalent to B. Sorry, sorry, that is C. Okay, this is C. Because the opposite side of the angle C is side C in the oblique triangle. Okay, so parang ganyan yan, no? Now we can, we can now determine we can now determine the result of vector in this situation. First step is to determine its magnitude. Okay? To determine its magnitude. Okay? Sila ko lang to and then um, medyo liitin natin ng konti, no? Yan. Okay? Sila ko ulit. Remove natin. Okay? Something like that. Now to solve the 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 B sub R or side B, okay? Uh, tignan muna natin ang given situation of this oblique triangle. We have D sub A as a side C and D sub B as a side A. And then we have angle here. So we have a condition of oblique triangle, side, and then side. Tapos alam natin na parang merong, merong pwedeng makuha dito na angle. So we can, we can say that the condition of the oblique triangle according to, it, to its given is psi angle side. Okay? So the condition here is SAS condition. And in our previous video presentations in regards to understanding or in understanding, I mean, in understanding the cosine law and sine laws method or formula, okay? Makikita natin that the SAS condition is being linked in the cosine law. Cost law na lang. Cost law. Okay. So we will be using cost law. In regards of this, we want to determine the side B. So we will be using the cosine law formula B squared equals A squared. Since we want to determine B, B kasi plus C squared minus 2AC cosine angle B. Okay, something like that. Now, 
Okay, let us uh, identify the specific given. Let us uh, substitute, okay, the, the, the given, okay, in the oblique triangle. What is A squared, B squared? We do not have any B squared, but let us isolate squared down or isolate B, I mean. So, magiging square root yan, no? Okay? Magiging square root yan. Sorry for that. Magiging square root yan. Ano nangyayari? Okay. Ayusin natin yung magiging square root yan. Square root of what? What is A squared? Okay, as you can see, this is A. 3.0, that is 9. So, kung substitute natin yan, 3.0 kilometers squared, that is equivalent to 9 kilometers squared, since kilometer squared is kilometer squared. Plus, C, what is C? 4.5 kilometer. Kilometers. Okay, so what is 4.5 kilometers squared? That is equivalent to 2.20.25 kilometers squared. Okay, continuous natin sa baba, minus, okay, minus, minus, 2, multiply to 3.0 kilometers times 4.5 C, because C is uh, 4.5 kilometers. Kilometers, then cosine. What is the measure of angle B? Multiply to the cosine B. What's the measure of angle B? Marami sa atin magsasabi that the measure of angle B in this situation is 50 degrees. But look at this one. The angle B itself, ipakita ko lang, The angle B itself is this one. Tama? Yan. Ang buong yan. Yan ang angle na yun. Angle B. Ang 50 degrees hanggang dito lang yon. Yan. Hanggang doon lang yon. Okay? So in order for you to determine the angle B, okay, you need a logical way, okay, to identify what is the value of angle there. Okay? Nai-add po kay 50 degrees. Okay? As you can see, this is uh, uh, going to to uh, going to the northward direction. At makita natin dito na parang papunta sa westward naman ito. So parang intersection ng westward and northward, that is 90 degrees, tama? Because we form perpendicularity in that situation, perpendicular lines. Okay. So, this is 90 plus 50 degrees. That is 140 degrees. Therefore, the measure of angle B is 140 degrees. Okay? So, this is 140 degrees. Now, to determine B, simple algebra, 9 kilometers squared plus 20.25 kilometers squared. That is 29.25 kilometer squared minus okay 2 multiplied 3 times 4.5 2 multiplied 3 2 multiplied 3 times 4.5 that is 27 kilometer squared kilometer multiplied to kilometer that is kilometer squared and then cosine 140 degrees Okay, that is uh, the simplified form. Okay, then meron tayong square root. Pagpasensya na natin, basta square root yun. Okay. What's the next step? Multiply 27 kilometers squared. This kilometer squared, this is squared, okay. Cosine 140 degrees. In the calculator, you can observe that 27 times cosine 140, or you can then mean that 27 times 140, okay, is negative 20.68, okay. I'll show you.
Okay. I'll show you, okay? So, ito, papakita ko sa inyo. Pa, pa, uh, ilala, uh, gamitin natin ang Desmos Calculator. Okay? So, ito. Something like that. Okay? So, basically, okay, ano kailangan natin i-multiply? 27 multiply to cosine 140 degrees. Okay? Okay? So, using Desmos calculator, okay, 27 multiplied to cosine 140 degrees. That is the answer, okay? That is the answer. Now, if that will be the answer, di na natin susulat yun, no? Okay, tuloy-tuloy na natin sa calculator. Okay. Ito, 29.25 kilometers squared minus natin doon sa answer, okay? Where's that? Desmos calculator. Okay, so uh, twenty nine point. Twenty nine point twenty five. Ayon. Twenty nine point twenty five. Okay, point twenty five. Okay, minus the answer. So that would be the answer. Forty nine point ninety three. Okay, forty nine point ninety three. Okay. Approximately okay, square root of the answer that the answer is uh 49.93 etc. Okay? Para siyang ganun, no? B equals square root natin yon, yung 49.93 chuchu. Okay. Meet up sa inyo. Mm. Square root of the answer. The answer is 7.07. .07, approximately equal to 7.07 .07 kilometers. Okay. So the answer is 7.07 .07 kilometers. Okay. The answer is answer kilometers squared. Okay, square root of kilometer squared a kilometer. Okay, so the magnitude of uh, of the result of vector seven point zero seven kilometers. So this is also equal to v sub r. Okay. okay. Next presentation, tayo, no? So sulit natin ang mga given. So we have. Uh, we identify B equals the V sub R, okay, equals 7.07 .07 kilometers. Okay, uh, let us continue. Our given is the B equals V sub R equals 7.07 .07 kilometers. Then we have A. Equals 4.5, if I'm not mistaken. Balik tayo, sige. Uh, sorry, that is 3 pala. And then we have 4.5, that is C. This is 3. Okay. 3 kilometers. Okay. 3 kilometers. 50 degrees. North of west. And then we have C equals 4.5 kilometers northward. Okay. The measure of angle B is 140 degrees as we identified a while ago. Okay. 140 degrees. Okay. By illustration, makikita natin na uh, parang pa ganyan, no? This is the D sub A or D 4.5 kilometers. Okay. And then we have okay, we have something like that. That is D sub B and then the result of factor which is 7.07 .07 kilometers. 
So, kanina, in-identify in natin ito. Sorry for that. Okay. That this is A, this is B, this is C. Okay. This B is equivalent to 140 degrees. Okay. And then we have... Uh, Ishi natin, no? 140 degrees. Then we have uh, side A. This is side A. Sorry, side C. Side C yun. Side C. This is A. And we have B. We already obtained the side B, right? That is B sub R, 7.07 kilometers. Ngayon sabi ko kanina, meron tayong reference dito. Kailangan natin makuha ang reference the direction dito kanina kasi we are not talking about triangles again ulitin ko lang we are not talking about triangles we are talking about this result of vector now the reference of the result of vector must be the westward direction okay so north of west pa rin yan no ngayon kunin natin ang angle dito how do we determine that by uh, subtracting 90 degrees from theta prime here okay Yan. And that theta prime is equivalent to angle A, measure of angle A. Now, we need to determine what is the measure of angle A. Dito na lang. What, what, what are we going to use in this situation? We are going to use the sine laws because we, have, we can create a ratio between the angle B and side B. Angle B, sine 140 degrees divided by B, right, equals sine A. We want to determine A, wherein we have side A. We're in the side A is equivalent to 3 kilometers. Okay? So use, use sine law to determine theta prime or the angle. So since kinuha natin si sine A, so we have sine A over A equals sine B over B. over B. And to determine A, the measure of angle A, okay, substitute natin ang mga given. So, sine A over what is A? What is side A? Over side A, that is 3 kilometers. A kilometers. And then, equals to sine B. Okay. Sign B. Okay. Sign B, ano on B, angle B, that is 140 degrees. So 140 degrees. Divided by B. What is B? That is 7.07 .07 kilometers. So multiply natin yan, no? Okay? Gawin natin, this is, this is, uh, uh, on the denominator side, lagay natin sa numerator side, pag nilipat natin yan, and then huwag na natin lipat to because we will be isolating the angle A. So ang final, uh, formula natin will be 3 to determine A, that's 3, Yon, 3 kilometers, multiply to, cross multiply lang yan, no? Multiply to sine 140 degrees. Divided by, bakit divided by? Kasi ito, pupunta doon. Okay, cross multiply, then di-divide mo na naman 7.07 .07 kilometers para makuha mo si angle A. Okay, so magre-retain lang siya sa baba, 7.07 .07 pa rin kilometers. Cancel si kilometers. So, angle ang kinukuha natin dito. Uh, take note. Okay. Maka-convert natin ito into degree, minute, second. Okay. Ngayon, uh, maraming nagtatanong sa galing ng degree, minute, second. We are, when we are talking about, uh, uh, when we are talking about directions, kailangan si degree, minute, second. Okay. Okay, but when we are talking ab about uh, the pure angle itself, okay, the pure angle itself, okay, 
then kahit hindi mo yun i-convert into degree minute second. Okay. Kinagamit natin si degree minute second because we are talking about the direction. Okay. Uh, kung nanonood kayo ng mga films in terms of uh, 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 determining okay, the location of a specific object or specific person, okay, ginagamit nila ang uh, degree minute second. Like for example, if you are locating a criminal, okay, degree minute second ang ginagamit. Okay? Now, si sign, ito si sign. Okay? Since mag-iwan a sign A yan, di ba? O aalisin mo si sign, kukunin mo si angle A, so this will become the inverse sign. Ilipat mo si sign eh. The inverse sign of that uh, expression. Angle A or the theta prime equals what? Okay, multiply 3, multiply 2, sign 140 degrees. Okay, pakita natin. 3, multiply 2, sign 140 equals and then the answer divided by okay, 4.5, no? Tama ba? No, 7.07. 7 okay, 7.07. The answer divided by 7.07 equals, and then let's determine the trigonometry, the, the, the inverse sign, I mean, of the answer. Okay, answer. Sorry. Uh, cancel. That's an answer. Answer. Clear. Trigonometric sign of the answer. Equivalent to 15.83, no? Pero kung titignan natin yan, trigonometric sign of uh, 3 multiplied to sine 140. Kung po convert natin yan, I mean, into degree minute second, ang magiging final answer natin will be equivalent to 15 degree. Okay, 15 degree, 15 degrees, I mean, 15 degrees, this is degrees. Okay. This is degree, 49 minute, okay, and 41.32, 32 seconds. Yung mga nakapanood ng video presentation, tinapos nila yung kakapon. Okay, yan lang pinainal answer natin. Mali yun, no? Kung, kung, pwede naman ito eh. Kung magiging final answer natin is in terms of direction is west of north. Bakit west of north? Because your reference in uh, angle A is the north direction. Okay? Is the north direction. Ang angle kasi nasa north eh. Oh. Okay? Pero katulad ang sinabi ko, in physics subject, we are not considering this west of north as a reference, okay? Because when we are talking about location, we are talking about the horizon palagi, okay? The, our eye level palagi, okay? So the final answer in this situation, okay, in this case, is the result of vector, red natin, red natin, no? Okay, so V sub R, equals 7.07 .07 kilometers okay and then this one this theta prime okay theta prime okay ko lang sa taas this theta prime to determine this theta you need 90 degrees 19 degrees kasi yun, minus the theta prime wherein that is uh, the angle a equals the theta in reference to the westward direction or magiging north of west. Okay, so 90 minus yung 15 degree, okay, 49 minute, 41.32 second is equivalent to 74 degree, okay, 10 minute and 18.68 seconds. Okay. Ngayon ko lang sinurbyan, no? 
Okay, ngayon nila lang natin sinob yan. Ang mga kabalyero, no? Okay. So, this will be our final answer. Kinu uh, inano ko lang yan. Kinukuha ko lang sa book. Okay. And then, yun na. Experiment na ako using online na uh, online tawag doon? Uh, online na uh, teaching. Okay. Ah, uh, Well, basically, para sa akin, no, a teacher must always be ready. Okay? Uh, hindi siya yung tingin-tingin sa book or tingin-tingin sa notebook. Okay? Kailangan talagang kapag kapag uh, umarap siya sa kanyang klase, talagang alam niya, na, alam niya ang kanyang itinuturo. No? Alam niya ang kanyang dapat gawin. Okay? Alam niya, uh, uh, hindi siya uh, anuman ang questions na kanyang mga estudyante. Kung alam niya sagutin, alam niya sagutin. Okay. Minsan, may mga estudyante din naman kasi nagtatanong na nonsense ang tanong eh. Okay, something like that. Okay? Pero, may mga, uh, may mga teachers na talagang ready-ready. Okay? Ma-observe natin sa classroom yun. No? But even if they are ready enough, okay, may, still, may mga estudyante pa rin na talagang walang pakialam, lalo na sa mathematics subject. I know, I know, a uh, majority of the STEM students uh, don't want to understand the physics subject or don't want to learn anything in the physics subject because it is too hard. Because it is a combination of all mathematics subject and then, uh, yun, meron pang calculus nga dito sa physics, sa physics subject natin. And then, discovering the ideas of, uh, of uh, uh, chemistry, then discovering the ideas of uh, biology, Earth science, natural sciences, yan. Nandyan din lahat kasi sa physics. In order for you to understand those things, not a theoretical basis, but in in uh, in having evidence, in having a mathematical procedure, or meron kang ebidensya. Ang physics subject talaga ang makakatulong para sa atin. No? Okay? So that is our... Uh, problem number three, okay? So let's move on to problem number four.